Mm-hmm. We've had our first real blowout. Not good time for it. He's showing my son's little wean on... Oh, my goodness gracious. Are we good now? Are we good? <laughs> okay. Well, this is life now. Um, little Bug, Little Grady is four weeks old today and we figured today was the day to bring him on his first hunt. I couldn't handle it any longer. His mom behind the camera had to get out of the house. So um, I came last week, had a night where this little guy kept me awake all night. So I woke Mackenzie up and said, hey, I'm headed hunting for the day. So I've came and looked around and found a few antelope um, last week, nothing huge. We only want huge, huh? Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna look around again today and see what we can find. I may lower the standards just a bit with everybody here. The youth hunter, Preston, and his wife, Tessa, are coming with their little boy too. So it'd be neat to kill one, but we're not gonna kill a dink. Okay, is this over? Okay, all right, we're get to hunting now. Okay, we're gonna leave mom with the bait. Oh, let's get rid of these sunglasses first. See ya. <laughs> anyway, there's a buck up here that I can't say he's big. I'm sure he's not, but we're waiting for Antilla family to get here, so we might as well stock a buck real quick. Make sure he's not big. He's in a stockable location, and I just can't can't quite get you know a look at him. He's got pretty good cheek patch and a lot of black above his head, so. Like I said, chances are he's probably a 12 inch buck, but we should just go find out as long as I don't get um, mauled by all these cows. Come here, come here, come here. Got him. These guys are always just so docile, you know. I don't know whose cows these are, but you've done well. These ones are my my landmark. It's not ever smart to make what could be a moving object your landmark, but I had confidence they weren't gonna leave, but probably 50 yards from them. You can see my path here. I took, there's the truck. Took right in between all those cows and they couldn't care less. So we're probably like, 150 yards from that buck if he didn't move he had that look like he was gonna bed down so I hope he's bedded right here over this lip but I'm doing nothing but buying some time and getting a stock in on stockable antelope so the winds coming from my left shoulder to my right right towards the cows so the wind's good we just gotta do our part and see what he looks like. I'm gonna set you guys right here. Um, I think that buck is right over this lip right here, but it has another drainage right behind me. I'm gonna make kind of a half circle around and that way I stay upwind. So if I spot him and he's still bedded, I'll come back and get the camera, but otherwise I'll just shoot him, okay? If he's still there, maybe he's not there, but another horny toad. Oh, there's a small one. That's the smaller buck. If the bigger one doesn't blow out of here at the side of that, then he's kind of where we thought he was. Well, as what usually happens, the big one, or what I thought was the bigger one, gave us the slip. So, 
I'm going to, I'm already in these canyons. Um, I'm gonna work my way around the front of it, just make sure he didn't, you know, scoot around the side of one of these and just try and get a look at him and uh, obviously stalk him if I can, but otherwise use this as an excuse to glass off the top here and uh, head back to the truck and back to see how, uh, how much McKenzie's battling Grady. So that's planned for the next couple hours. Who are you? <laughs> What's your name? Are you Spider-Man or are you Wiley? Yeah. Spider-Man? Yeah. That's what I thought you yeah, were. Come on. What are we doing? What are we hunting for? Turkeys. Turkeys? Well, that's usually the right answer. What about... Antelope. Nope. Antelope? Turkeys. Turkeys, well... What did turkey say? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do anything further today. Drove around. Found some other roads, found some small antelope. That was it. Got Wiley bored and now we've got to go race. Huh? Go race. A buck that looks good. Just not sure how good. He doesn't have any curl, but he looks tall. It looks like he's got a lot of black above his head. We've had some little rain squall. Here's a good look. Little rain squall come through. And uh, with that, it's cooled everything down and made it to where we don't have a bunch of heat waves. So it's kind of nice to glass them right now. But looks tall, but with no curl, it's hard to say. I'm going to get back in the spotting scope and see if I can't figure them out a little bit. But a good one, no doubt. More pictures for Spider-Man? <laughs> Hello. Got Grady in the bug net. Just enjoying life, eating his hands. Who is that? Wiley, who is that? Grady. Grady. We figured with all the Spider-Man and Spider-Man Jr. <laughs> that we'd uh, we'd really live uptown. Oh, he gone. We'd really live uptown. We got a room for the night. Show you Preston, but actually we still can. Youth hunter's in there where he belongs. Sacked out in the bed. He did work graveyards all night though, so we give him a little bit of a break. But anyway, I'm over here on step one. Tessa said she'd she'd bring dinner, so we got corn first, then oryx steaks, I believe. And if we can get away from Spider-Man, we'll have it all figured out. Going for the barely, barely warm technique here. Yeah, yep, still cold, but that'll work. Who are you? Guide. I'm an antelope guide. You Hunter 2.0? <laughs> I'm 1.0, really. <laughs> Grady and Wiley are two, and then 3.0. There's an antelope right in the road. See? Oh. Here I am oh, guiding good. you to success, and you're just Good filming. job, two bucks. But we're not in the unit yet. But. Why do that? This looks like those bucks, that buck I killed, what, a couple years ago? Yeah. Exact well, was it same. a horn, not a prong horn? Yeah, it was just a horn. <laughs> just some classic through the windshield videoing here. Well, he's nine miles out there, but this is the first buck, really, that's looked right. good from all angles. <laughs> he sure acts the part, too. Big old black head. <laughs> Wiley walking like Tessa, it's like, where are you going to get that going yeah, to? I know, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Almost falling back, he's leaning forward so much. And smiling. <laughs> right. So you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know whose coat this is, but... but... <laughs> 
I feel like it must be Kenzie's. It's mine. This fits your big ass. Yeah. Dude, well, it used to. Well, it's not even long on my arms. I have short arms. Oh. Me and Preston are having a great morning glass of antelope. There's some there. There's some there. There's 50 over there. There's antelope just about everywhere. But we're archery hunting, so it's hard to find one stockable. I would probably stock an okay buck today just because, but we're seeing some really nice bucks. So it's hard to kind of settle with an archery buck too. And I know I can come back and hunt with my rifle. So, but we're having fun waiting for the wives to wake up. I can't imagine they're not up by now, but you got anything good to say? <laughs> not really. PG? No, I'm, Wiley's going to be loving this when he gets out here. <laughs> We've got a buck down here. We don't have any idea what the wind's doing, but he's decent and he's in the ditch. So we're just going to go for it. The buck is so killable without the does. Those came out over here, so I see how stupid he is, I guess. He's not concerned at all. It's these other idiots. Well, that looked a little silly. <laughs> we went on a sprint more than we went on a stalk, but this buck was coming through this ravine and uh, just going over little folds and we knew we had to make it happen. So we ran up to one fold. The does were coming out on the other side. So I tried to cross over the big ravine and he caught me on the other side, but. At least we can say we went on a stock, kind of, I guess. Got semi-close for sprinting in, but it's kind of ragtag. But it was fun-ish. Made Preston earn his beer later. Got some calories burned. But we'll head back to the truck, and sounds like the girls are ready. We'll go pick them up. We, of course, did end up picking them up, just like good husbands would, but not before we got continually sidetracked by all these antelope. We spent a good amount of time um, looking over a ton of bucks. The big ones really didn't end up making it onto any video as we were too worried about sizing them up and making sure that they were in fact bigger than all the other bucks around. But we did take a little bit of time to learn the new digiscoping system and get a couple good clips. Well, we're rattling our way back out of the unit. It's rainy today, 59 degrees right now, and it's just after noon. Um, I was gonna stay and hunt another day or so, another day and a half, but I'm just gonna make family life easy and head to the house. So um, I saw a bunch, saw what I needed to see. We found, I think, a couple legitimately big antelope. It's so hard. I mean, I, I don't know how many people are actually good at judging antelope and, and knowing the, the good ones from the big ones if they're not, no doubters. But um, I think we found some that are legitimately big that I'm excited about, but in this terrain they're living in, trying to spot and stalk them is very tough and um, the couple water holes that I have figured out it's just so rainy and cold that it kind of doesn't feel worthwhile to have Mackenzie taking care of Grady for the next two days on her own when I'm going to be gone plenty in September so we'll be back in the antelope I was going to say woods but back in the antelope brush in 
about two months. See you then.